take control of your finances. Gain insights from top industry professionals. Financial topics that matter to you from your go-to resource. This is Right on the Money with your host, Dennis Matter. Hello and welcome to Right on the Money, the show that features financial advisors, insurance professionals, and fiduciaries who discuss financial topics that empower you to take control of your finances. I'm your host, Dennis Matter, and we're so glad you've taken time out of your day to spend with us. Also remember, you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. You also can start a conversation with us by using the hashtag ROTM, and you can watch full episodes of the show at rightonthemoneyshow.com. Now, I'm pleased to be joined today by our friend Larry Lerner, owner and operator of Artist Business Management Group. Larry, great to have you here with us today. Thanks for having me again. I always enjoy this. We love having you on the show. You're such a great friend. Now, I am excited to say and hear more about the fact that you're working on a book. Yes, I am. I am having so much fun with it. It's amazing. In my practice, mm -hmm. basically, I keep telling stories and trying to improve on what we do for people for planning. So therefore, I said, okay, I'm gonna write a book and I'm going to include some of the war stories and some of the solutions mm -hmm. to fix the problems. And basically, the gist of the book is the actions that we can take today that will greatly, greatly help us for tomorrow. We, uh, we truly are probably a nation of procrastinators. Yes, you know, the four biggest threats to your retirement are taxes, inflation, investor behavior, and procrastination. Mm -hmm. And if we could just knock out a couple of those, we're looking good. And you add into the fact, something that you'd mentioned off camera was that you have those four threats, and then you have the other thing that's taken away, which is time. Time. You know, retirement basically is almost like the three-legged stool. You've got time, money, and an interest rate. Mm -hmm. If you're young enough, and if you start early enough, you don't need a whole lot of money to create a magnificent retirement if you're just systematic about putting money away. Now, I saw some interesting statistics that I was looking at before, uh, before you came in. Uh, one, I saw a study from 2012 that said that 47% of all workers are either not too confident or not confident at all in their ability to retire eventually. Uh, I saw another statistic that said the typical time horizon that uh, investors, pre-retirees, are looking ahead is five years and only two out of ten pre-retirees are looking 20 years into the future. Now, as somebody who works with people on their taxes and somebody who works with people on their investments, what are you seeing out there? What am I seeing? I'm seeing the procrastination. I'm seeing, I'll worry about that later. I'll think about that later. Uh, even when it comes to college for children. Okay, you get pregnant. You know that 18 years from now, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to start forking up money for college. But most clients, when their kids are in middle school or they're entering high school, it's like, yeah, maybe I'll think about putting away some money for my kids' college you don't have a whole lot of time left. Mm -hmm. there, you know, you think about it, there are hundreds of parables and stories that, uh, to teach us to act now for, and start saving for tomorrow, the, the, the grass, the ant and the grasshopper. Absolutely. You know, I've, I've always said that this practice, this, this profession that I'm in, you can actually look pretty smart by just simply remembering all the bad stories and preventing those from happening again and again. The, those cautionary tales. Exactly. Well, let's, let's talk about one of those. One that you have is the, that's fascinating that we were talking about, the story of Corey. Yeah, it's a very sad story. Um, his dad, Corey's dad was actually a pretty good guy. And he was not a huge wage earner, mm -hmm. but he was a good planner. He always maxed out the 401k. He was great at saving. And the guy actually was a liquor salesman. He went around the different restaurants selling his liquor, and he, uh, he always made sales goal, mm -hmm. and he would always end up on the, uh, the company incentive trip. So uh, one year, company incentive trip, there was a tour, and he went climbing and hiking up in the mountains, oh my and gosh. unfortunately, he had a massive heart attack, and he died. Uh, a few weeks later, Corey, his son, comes into my office, tells me the sad story, 
And it's like, okay, what do I do? So I designed probably one of the best cases of my career. I used the, the life insurance, which you know is tax-free. Mm -hmm. I used that to pay down the mortgage so that therefore now we could have a mortgage payment that would be equal to the RMDs, required minimum distributions, from the IRA rollover, the inherited IRA rollover. Mm -hmm. And basically I set this up so that he could live in this beautiful four bedroom home for absolutely free. He could use his salary for no rent, just food, expenses, vacation, car, and actually compliments of his dad live an extremely nice life. It sounds like a perfect scenario. I thought it was a perfect scenario, but Obviously, there's a sad part to this story. We're gonna break right now because we ran out of time for this segment. So we're gonna come back. We're gonna talk about the final stages of the story of Corey. And later, we're gonna talk about a couple other items that make it into the book. You don't wanna miss that. So we'll see you on the other side of the break. <laughs>